Hey guys, this is Vest from PropWash.com, and we recently released a training guide for people interested in getting into quadcopters, specifically those that might have just picked up a Hubson or a Simon to start learning. It covers the basics of gear you're going to need, selecting a location, and some training exercises that you can do. We wanted to put together a quick video showcasing and explaining these exercises to accompany our guide. We wrote the guide with micro quads in mind, however you can see here I'm running these exercises flying my ZMR250 mini quad. It was actually a pretty fun training tool even with a larger quad, and I definitely recommend it as a way to warm up or to put together a few simple course combinations. You can also fly these exercises using either line of sight or FPV depending on what you're trying to train for. Alright, so how do you use this guide? Basically you're going to need 5 cones, or some other type of marker, to create a diamond in an open area. We number these points, as you can see on the screen, in order to create a course by flying from point to point. These exercises assume that you're set up behind position 4 and starting from there. The idea is you're going to follow the Roman numerals from point to point in the written guide. Obviously for the video here, we're going to show the path on screen. We did upload a PDF on our site of all these exercises that you can print and take with you to the field. So let's get started. The first two exercises are meant for people completely new to quadcopters. These exercises are focused on getting comfortable with forward and back as well as side to side movement. So the first exercise is going to be our pitch exercise. You're simply going to be going back and forth in a straight line. No turning or anything is needed here. Focus on maintaining altitude while flying back and forth from position 4 to position 2 and keep running that loop till you feel comfortable. Our second exercise is our roll exercise. You're going to be flying back and forth from position 3 to position 1. Again, focus on maintaining altitude here and get comfortable controlling the quad between all the different points. Exercise 3 is basically a combination of exercises 1 and 2. It's going to be a big plus sign. You're going to fly out to position 5 and then fly from 5 to each position and then back to the center. Basically combining everything that you got in the first two exercises to get you really comfortable going side to side and forward and back. Our fourth exercise is a revisit to our first exercise with a little bit of a twist. Instead of moving back and forth between position 4 and position 2, you're going to fly out from position 4 to position 2, rotate 180 degrees, and fly back to position 4. From position 4 you can then rotate again and continue the loop until you feel comfortable making these turns. So for our fifth exercise, we call this one rounding the bases. You're going to fly from point 4 to 1 to 2 to 3 and then back to 4. And then of course you can just keep looping until you feel comfortable. This exercise should test your ability to make turns and maintain speed throughout the entire course. So our sixth and final exercise is basically going to be a big figure 8 utilizing all the different positions on the course. So starting from position 4, you're going to fly out to position 3 turn and pass over position 5 on the way to position 1, turn again and fly towards position 2, make one final turn and pass over position 5 again on the way back to position 4. This is definitely going to be the most challenging of all the courses, but it's going to combine all the different exercises and really force you to make precise movements. So hopefully if you're just starting out, you just opened your new hub center assignment, this gives you some ideas of some courses that you can run to start building up the skills to move on to the next level. If you're a more experienced pilot, hopefully this gives you some ideas on how you can create some quick courses just using five cones. If you have any questions, definitely let us know in the comments section below. Again, thanks for watching guys, and for more guides and articles on quadcopters, definitely be sure to check out propwash.com.